That might be the only garment that he had. But at Joseph decided to leave the garment because he wanted to live a holy life. The amazing thing about lizard is after some time the child that was lost will grow again. The day came Pharaoh called Joseph out of prison and the Bible says that Joseph was clothed with a garment of fine linen. Hallelujah. Even if you go through certain situations in your life, when you leave something for God, remember that the day will come, the Lord will lift you up. Hallelujah. Walk according to the high calling of Jesus Christ. When you do that, sometimes you may lose something. It may cost you something. But don't be disappointed. Don't be discouraged. Because the devil always take you to the depression. Joseph was not depressed. Even though he was put in prison, he continued his walk with God. That's the reason now God has clothed him with much more precious clothes. Hallelujah. When you lose something for Christ, definitely God is going to reward you with 100 times more. And I experienced that in my life. A greetings to you in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, this is my first time sharing Word of God in Burmese Church. So it is my privilege and uh, I thank uh, Pastor Elizabeth uh, for inviting me here to uh, share uh, my testimony and God's word. Um, so I really thank God for this opportunity. So uh, today uh, I wanted to talk three things about lizard. Proverbs uh, 30th chapter 28th verse says, A lizard can be caught with a hand. At it is found in king's palaces. I hope everyone understands lizard. We see it in our house. And the Bible says here, we see it even in king's palaces. I wanted to compare this lizard with us. The king with our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is our king and he is not only the king he is the king of kings and lord of lords and he has a wonderful palace building for us so to live in that palace we have to be the lizards one of the specialities that lizard has is it lives in the high places god has called us with a high calling praise the lord we have not received an ordinary call. That's what Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 3 verses 14. That God has called us with a high calling in Christ Jesus. Habakkuk prophet said that God is leading him on the high places. Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 19. And even King David said in Psalm 18... 33, that God has kept him on the high places. What are the high places? The high places are the spiritual standards that we set in our spiritual life. If we see the man of God in the Bible, they had such a commitment to follow Jesus. And King David said in Psalm 1 at 1 verse 3, I set no wicked thing before mine eyes. Hallelujah. That is the commitment that he had to follow God. Because he understood that this calling is not an ordinary calling. God has called us with a high calling. So we have to have a commitment to follow Christ. And Job said in 39th chapter verse 12. I have esteemed the words of God more than my necessary food. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the commitment that Job had. Because he understood 
God has saved him, elected him with a purpose. God has saved us with a purpose. We are not saved by an accident. You are here because God has a special purpose in your life. And he had called you with a high calling. And Jesus Christ said in uh, John Gospel 8, I always do the things that please us to the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. That's the commitment he had. Because he understood the high calling. So the Lord saved me at the age of 11. We sat in a small family prayer. All of a sudden, Holy Spirit came upon me. I was weeping, weeping and weeping. And I had an encounter with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. My life was changed since then. And I understood the high calling of God and told my dad I wanted to sow the Lord. So he asked me to go to the Bible college. I completed my school at the age of 14. And uh, I went to Bible college at the age of 14 because I understood the high calling of God. Even though it is not a worthy animal to be lived in the king's palace because it lives in the high places, it is able to live in the king's palace. Yes, we are not worthy to be in the palace of Jesus Christ, but at Christ has loved us and he died for us and rose again for us. And that high calling is enabling us to live in the high places. So I encourage you to have a committed life. Commit yourselves unto the Lord. As King David did. As Job did. As Jesus did. So that you live in the high places. So you continue to live in the high places. The second thing, when you try to catch the lizard, it will escape. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, the devil is like a roaring, roaring lion and he's looking to devour us. But we have to learn from this lizard to escape from the hand of the devil. Do you know what the lizard do when you try to catch it not only it lives in the high places but also it will try to go and hide in a place where even your hand cannot go so jesus said in luke gospel 26 verse 36 watch therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of God. So here God is telling that we have to watch and pray. So we should have the wisdom of a lizard. So that we escape when the devil comes and tempts us. Or when the devil is trying to catch us. When the devil is trying to devour us. We have to run into Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he is our refuge. He is our shield. He is our rock. He is our strength. So I want to encourage you. Whenever the devil is trying to catch you. Tempt you. You have to escape. Go unto Jesus. Because he is our stronghold. Devil cannot come into him. Because he has Risen from the dead. He overcame the devil. So devil cannot come unto Jesus. So let us continue to go unto Jesus. I was saved at the age of 11. Started my ministry at the age of 14. And now I am 36 years. All these years. Devil tried to trap me. Devour me. Destroy me. But because I was able to go unto Jesus, he gave me a victorious life. Hallelujah. Amen. So the third important thing I wanted to share is, have you seen a lizard without a tail? It has the wisdom to leave its tail to escape. Many times in our spiritual life, 
devil tries to catch us but we don't like to leave the tile we try to keep the tile and that's when we will be caught with the devil you must have a wisdom to leave out the tile I wanted to compare the tail with the comforts that you have. I wanted to compare the tail with the physical things that you have. Sometimes to follow Jesus, you may have to leave them. Joseph's life we see when the Potiphar's wife tried to to catch him when she inspired joseph to commit a sin with her the bible says in genesis chapter 39 verse 12 that joseph left his garment he was not after that garment that might be the only garment that he had but at Joseph decided to leave the garment because he wanted to live a holy life. The amazing thing about lizard is after some time the child that was lost will grow again. The day came Pharaoh called Joseph out of prison. And the Bible says that Joseph was clothed with a garment of fine linen. Hallelujah. Even if you go through certain situations in your life, when you leave something for God, remember that the day will come, the Lord will lift you up. Hallelujah. Walk according to the high calling of Jesus Christ. When you do that, sometimes you may lose something. It may cost you something. But don't be disappointed. Don't be discouraged. Because the devil always take you to the depression. Joseph was not depressed. Even though he was put in prison. He continued his walk with God. That's the reason now God has clothed him. With much more precious clothes. Hallelujah. And Jesus said in Luke Gospel chapter 18. Verses 29 and 30. When you lose something for Christ, definitely God is going to reward you with 100 times more. And I experienced that in my life. Thank you. God bless you.